Hey guys, welcome to my studio. So happy that you're here. So I'm going to give you guys a quickish tour of my home studio today. Just going to show you some of the areas that I work in here, some of the supplies that I use. So I hope you find this interesting and entertaining. I always love watching other art um, studio tours. I wanted to share mine. I've lived in this house for about three years now and you never feel like your studio is quite organized enough or clean enough for a studio tour, but I'm trying to just let that go, put it out there and share with you guys what, where I work, where I create art. So let's go. just came down the stairs into my studio. This door goes into our garage. My studio is on the lower level of our house. This is one of the main areas where I do, um, I'd say acrylic painting mainly, smaller canvases, things on paper, that type of thing. So this cabinet right here is um, mainly some books and just to store some supplies. And these are the canvases that I'm going to be working on up next. And some more things that I have planned to do upcoming. And then just, um, you know, basic containers, supplies and that type of thing. This is one of my main storage areas. Um, I've got my spray paint and some fluid paint, different things, Posca pens up here. Um, but this is where I keep just a lot of um, like smaller paint items for the acrylic painting. That's just some different paint mediums and pastels and things like that but yeah and I keep my extra palettes and then some larger works on paper oh I put down this sheet of linoleum because there's carpet in here and the carpet I don't love it but um for now it's good and um I do want to protect it um okay so this is my desk <laughs> I had a cover with plastic and when I have like remnants of something, I just stick it down here um, because this gets all torn up. And when I put this down, it keeps it kind of protected. This will be covered with paint soon, so it won't matter. <laughs> um, here is uh, just some more of this area. I made this paint organization area with an old door. Um, I'll do like a quick little video for you guys to show you how I did it. I mean, it's super easy, but it's an old pantry door and I actually used it as an easel for a while. Um, but I got this big easel over here and I don't really need it for an easel anymore. So I came up with the idea to do that and it's perfect because it's right near my paint area and um, it keeps them. They were in drawers put away, but that's kind of hard to find. So as I get more paint, it will, um, I'll have some area down below, like down here. 
I can keep going down and put more paint. But um, anyway, it's good. It's good. You can put more than one tube on there too. So if I had to, I could put two similar colors on one hook. Okay, so this guy's, I love this little thing, paper towel organizer. This desk is metal. My brother actually made that. He's, um, back in the day, he used to make a lot of uh, metal furniture and I am lucky enough to still have some of it. This is an, uh, mainly for my fluid acrylic pieces that I do. Um, I try to keep all my inks in fluid, golden fluid, high flow paints here. Um, I use inks quite a lot. These are custom mixes that I've done where I dilute them down and make them more fluid. Um, same with these in the larger bottles. Um, but yeah, this is mainly for my fluid painting when I do that, that part. Um, let's see. So this is the room from this view. I do have a lot of space. I feel really fortunate about that. Um, I keep my um, tripod there for, you know, filming overhead and things like that. Um, I have a lot of carts. You'll see I have a kind of a mild obsession with these carts. <laughs> Um, but they're handy. So this one I keep here to just, it's like my project cart. When I'm working on something in particular, I'll put the supplies that I feel I'll need there and it kind of moves around. Um, working on this piece currently, it's a fluid piece. I love this easel because it lays flat, which, um, so I mainly use this easel for, for fluid painting, like, like these these paintings over here. Let's see, um, this is my little lounge area, relaxation, meditation, rest, area and I have a little record player over there and my very small collection of records <laughs> I don't have that many some of my oracle decks and um, candles and meditation type things here because sometimes I will have a little time to do a meditation here if I need to get centered. So this is um, the mural wall that I painted not long after we moved here kind of one of the first things I did but um yeah it's it was fun and I still love looking at it every day so um yeah I love it and that is my shepherd fairy make art not war um print so it might be a little crooked but okay just ignore that <laughs> But let's see, I'll give you a view of this area. And that fireplace, it's a gas fireplace. It's pretty old, but um, it still works and it will heat up this room pretty quick. So I definitely 
I use it in the winter for sure. Um, this is just an extra kind of chair, but this is my area. Like if I have people coming to the studio, we'll kind of chill here, hang out. Got some magazines, some art books. And this is actually kind of like a little sewing nook. I don't sew as much anymore, but it's handy when you need it. And um, I had the space for it, so I just went ahead and put it down here. But that was my mom's, this little sewing desk was my mom's. And I love it. I can't, I don't see myself ever getting rid of it. I just took the old sewing machine out, painted it, and it's really cute. These are just some of my fabric pieces, paper, and transfers that I have that I use on different things here and there. Okay, so that is that area. And now we're kind of coming over into the area that I mainly do my alcohol inks in. Um, this is my cart for alcohol inks. Some inks that I've diluted with alcohol and keeping these little squeeze bottles. My mask, this little blower thing. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Okay, so let me show you over here first. So. So this is a storage over here with, um, you know, a big Ikea cabinet. And this is a Bluetooth speaker. It's really cool. It's from Ikea also. So it's made to fit right in that little cubby. I keep some of my alcohol ink papers and things, supplies here. And, um, Get to listen to the birds and see the squirrels outside. And here is the main table I use for my alcohol inks. Keep some of my inks in these, but most of them I like to have out so I can uh, kind of go through them when I'm ready to get started. I put down these paper towels. They soak up the ink and protect your surface. Um, this piece I'm working on now, it's still, it's kind of in the middle stages, I would say. Um, and then here's just some of my supplies, a tripod, a light. And this is my airbrush um, machine. I love this thing for moving inks. I have tried so many methods for that is by far my favorite. So I use that and this little Tim Holtz blower. I use both of these because this one is a little hard to control sometimes. If you have a space and you only want to move the ink very slightly, you have more control with this. So. Um, okay, so let's see. I have this pegboard system. And honestly, a lot of times I just use it to display some of my art. Um, I do have some of my supplies on there, as you can see. Um, this, these hold um, just transfers, um, papers, just different things. They're pretty handy. And more carts, I promise. These are the last carts that I have. <laughs> um, these whole paints that I use more for crafty things and furniture. I do use these for acrylic painting also. Um, uh, these are, a lot of these are acrylic paint actually. Um, they're thick and they kind of help to build up good layers, so. I use different mediums for different purposes. But uh, here is a close up of my pegboard. Um, and then 
this is um, just a filing cabinet. And I keep some of my incense and plants and things like that over here. I try to keep a quote. This is a Basquiat quote. Love him. Um, that's a closet. It's really handy, it's full of stuff, you'll see. <laughs> um, just, just random supplies. Lots of different, different supplies and camera equipment, papers, things like that. This is my desk area. Well, my printer, desk. And then I have always had a bulletin board, as long as I can remember, really. So yeah, I, I love having a bullet, bulletin board to look at. It, I put things that inspire me, that make me happy. Um, I like the color and it's just something that, it's just a way of expressing yourself and keeping things that you love close to you. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll always have some type of bulletin board. Oh, and um, I meant to talk about these. These are panels from Ikea and they are handy. They move back and forth like this. So I use them to block out light. I use them for staging. Um, Like I can put something in front of these and take photos, or if I want to take a photo, but I don't want that side to show, I can use these panels to kind of block it. Um, and that's my ring light. It gets pretty dark down here because it's a basement. So that is helpful to, um, to have as well. So that is this room. I'll take you guys into the next room that I have over here. I use this for this room for shipping. Here's my main kind of shipping scale and area. Um, I have boxes and supplies over here with um, some extra canvases and things like that. Hey guys. So this is another closet that I have and it's just kind of um, some older inventory that I need to either use or sell. Um, I feel fortunate to have all these closets and my intention is to someday get all this stuff out of here so I can um, move some of the items that are on these shelves into the closet and clear out this room a little more. But um, that is a future goal and something that I'll have to to do at some point later and okay this piece has sold and um, it's going to be shipped I think to the Midwest next month um, I love this piece I'm so happy that someone fell in love with it and is going to enjoy it in their home it's a unique piece but um followed my intuition and did what I wanted to do. And I knew that someone would love it. So yay, I'm so happy that that person has found it. It's a really cool piece. So yeah, I have a bathroom down here too. My sink is not that clean. <laughs> For an artist, I guess it's pretty clean. Um, and there's even a shower. <laughs> Never use the shower, but guess it's cool to have it. Hey guys, so thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoy the tour of my studio and be sure to subscribe because I'll be sharing more artsy style videos in the future. Bye for now.